Hey everyone, I'll be here. Pokemon Go came out with a new update for the gyms, and I went ahead and went and tried it out. So I'm going to show you guys some gameplay footage from that, from my first battle. Uh, and then afterwards, be sure to stick around because I'm going to be reviewing it and giving my thoughts of my experience. So yeah, let's go.
welcome back. So, as you saw, I basically got owned by that blue sea. The first three Pokemon, I had no problem getting through. Then once I got to the blue sea, which was the fourth, I was so close. There were only like four seconds left. But I don't, I don't understand why it like, timed out, even though I still had four seconds left. I was so close. <laughs> Anyways, then I decided uh, I would just defeat the first three and kick them out of the gym and that would just kind of be it for my first gym experience. A little disappointing, I still need to get a good blissy counter, so hopefully I can get that soon sometime. Get a good champ, maybe. So overall, the gym rework, I mean, aesthetically, it looks amazing. I really like the versus screen that comes up right before the battle. The gym, just... Ev everything aesthetically it looks really great. I uh, really like how, you know, Gyarados it looked so big compared to my Jolteon. That was pretty cool. However, at the end of all of it, I realized that the game mechanics, or at least the battle mechanics, are still the same. It's still just tapping, 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 swipe to dodge, and press and hold for to release your charge move. It's really just... Well, I mean, they changed... The limits of Pokemon that can be there, they change, uh, kind of keep your team in there with the berries and the motivation, so there's that aspect. However, I would have liked to see some change in the actual battling. I would have liked to see status effects, I would like to see Pokemon have more than just two moves, you know, maybe four moves. Just something that adds an element of skill as well as strategy. Uh, something that adds players, if we continue to play in these gym battles more, we kind of get better and better at it. At it. I've seen pe uh, people play Ingress, uh, Antic's other game, and I've noticed that they've had to do these kind of patterns to be, be able to perform tasks in their game. So maybe Niantic could add that in Pokemon Go, some sort of pattern thing where you have to draw something to be able to unleash attacks. And, you know, as you get more familiar with patterns, you kind of get better at using those attacks, and thus, you know, there's some sort of skill element. It may not be be that, I just would have liked to see something like that, or I do still hope and would like to see that in the in this game. So there's that aspect. Uh, but overall, I think updates are still definitely an improvement compared to what we used to have. It was still very much a uh, limited experience for me in terms of gym battles so far, so I'm definitely going to go out and, uh, you know, do some more gym battles and see what else is there because you know I really have just only scratched the surface with that one <clears throat> that one battle so far. So we'll see what else there is and yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of the new gym rework, how are your experiences, what new features you enjoy, what would you prefer to have instead, what do you dislike, what would you like Niantic to change next in who knows how long. <laughs> If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Um, if you want to see another Pokemon Go video, you can go ahead and click or tap right there. If you want to stay up to date with video releases, you can ho go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking or tapping over here. Thank you again so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm Albie. See you later. Bye.